Good evening, I'm Jacqueline Allen. Thank you for joining us this Saturday night. We all know how nasty the fight over fracking can get here in Colorado, especially in Broomfield, where it has hit a new low. One city councilman is now resorting to name calling. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez is digging into this story. And Lance, you've got your hands on a pretty fiery email exchange. Jacqueline, the email uh, exchange was provided by a political group called the Broomfield Way. Now, in exchange, uh, Councilman Mike Shelton refers to one constituent as a monster. He wouldn't go on camera, but he told me tonight that people complaining about him have said some pretty nasty things, too. But we really don't know what the impact could be on our communities and on our children. People who live near the Lowell exit off the Northwest Parkway are worried about extraction oils plans to put 19 wells on the Livingston pad adjacent to their peacefully scenic neighborhood. Lori Anderson says under the city's comprehensive drilling plan, extraction oil is required to do a risk analysis. I want to copy that risk analysis because I do not believe it exists. When Kristen Logan asked if everything was being done according to code, she received several terse emails from Councilman Mike Shelton, who accused her of amateur lawyering. A few words I have for you are far more generous and balanced than the crap that comes out of your mouth, he wrote. You're a monster and you've only been here five years. He suggested she leave Broomfield. It was insulting and demeaning and hurtful. You hate this city so much, he wrote, and everyone in leadership say all sorts of evil things about us, tell everyone else around here lies about us, so why don't you move? Honestly, I think that he should resign. Miss Logan says when she wrote to city council with serious concerns, she never expected to be told to leave town or be called a monster. I think that that is his way of trying to hide the fact that they don't have a risk analysis by diverting. And, and thinking will just go away. But Anderson says she's not going anywhere. I will continue to pursue looking for that risk analysis. Now, Councilman Shelton sent an email tonight saying he regrets any name calling, but he accuses the people complaining of years of bullying council members while ignoring a state Supreme Court ruling giving the state authority to regulate fracking over local government. We'll have more from both sides on our web story later this evening. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.